Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android. I want to show you how to make use out of your IR blaster on your Galaxy uh, S5. It's right over here. Um, just like the Galaxy S4 as the IR blaster, which you can control your home theater system. Um, Watch on was the app of choice last year that came pre-installed on the phone. You, you won't find it on the phone, uh, or at least on some of the variants out there. You have to download it from the Play Store. But they've also included um, another app uh, called uh, Smart Remote. That uh, came pre-installed on a couple of variants that I have. Um, and the Watch on, you have to go to the Play Store in order to find it. Um, they both function the same. Um, but there are some differences between the two. So I'm going to just walk you through both of them. Let's go with Smart Remote. Um, and you, you go in, and of course there's other apps in the Play Store as well that you might find useful. Um, but uh, select a country or region, and we'll say United States, and then we're going to uh, do the zip code. And then you can select what you use for TV. I use DirecTV. And um, you can also personalize uh, this is powered by Peel. Peel has an app in the Play Store as well uh, for um, television and all that. So you can go in here and personalize things that you like and move these around. So if I don't want any kid stuff, I can uncheck that. Um, and I can also, um, let's say that, um, I don't know, I like um, comedy. I can just go ahead and move that up here. Um, go ahead and put it in place. There you go, comedy. And I can move them around, do what I want. Uh, let's just say I'm done and I'll hit next. I can also order my sports around as well for, uh, and uncheck sports I'm not interested in. So I'm definitely not interested in soccer and I'm not too interested in basketball. Um, so and we'll go uncheck other and I can move them around but it doesn't matter. Football, it's not football season now anyway, so, and go ahead and hit next, and then I can, um, you can enter my, uh, age, uh, if, and pr if that stuff, if I want, I'm not going to bother, and there's the Peel disclaimer that's powered by Peel, and I go ahead and agree, and, um, so these are the shows that are, um, on, that are recommended to me, and, um, you can also have your favorites, right now I have none, because I'm just setting it up. And you can have your friends' favorites as well. Um, and you can add favorite channels here. So you can go in and, and add whatever channels you want. You can search for them. So if I want to add uh, Fox, uh, I can go ahead and, and do that. And uh, there it is. Um, and we'll go ahead into hamburger menu again. And this is the TV shows that are listed, um, as in right now, there's the comedy that I put as my favorite, new, drama, and that's pretty much the order, I believe, that was in that. So I can go ahead and see the different TV shows, and so um, I can go ahead and, uh, let's just say, Frasier here, I can tap on it, and um, I can like it, dislike it, uh, I can set a reminder. Uh, it's, it's telling me when it's airing, 10.30 to 11, what channel it's on. Um, and so now, the thing is, you want to set up your remote. That's what we're here to talk about. So, the remote is here, and this is where you'll do that. And now you can load in your TV brand list. Uh, it gives you a lot of the ones that are um, you know popular. So, I go ahead and hit Panasonic. And you can um, tap the button. And if the power, if it works for the power button, then you just hit yes, no, it goes to the next code. For me, I know it works on the first one, so I'm going to say yes, this code works. If it doesn't, I'm going to say no, uh, test the next code. So yes, the code works. Now I can do my set-top box, and we're going to say direct TV, uh, and then... Um, Go ahead and hit OK. And now um, make sure that uh, I'm watching live TV and I can go ahead and hit the channel up button. If it works, then I say yes. If no, go to the next code and get it to work. Uh, so we're going to say yes because I believe that works on the first try for me. So now I have um, a full-blown remote that I can use. 
and there you can say volume and all that and I can also I've got my direct TV remote by hitting that and I can go um, whoops and I can go um, what's this function oh that's powered by PL just going to the internet and then I can hit that and go back down here and I can also add devices so if I want to add an AV receiver I do that here DVD player blu-ray a media player even an air conditioner and uh, I can add all those and then once you set up a third device so if I do an AV receiver um, I think it asks me so I'm gonna go with Onkyo and then I'm gonna hit the power button again go through this if it works say yes it works and now it's more options so now it's saying volume controlled on the Onkyo of course because I'm using my home theater system the uh, Panasonic TV input I can set the input that I want it on uh, for most stuff um, and I can go ahead and skip that and then the Onkyo receiver input so I can go ahead and set those but I can go ahead and hit the volume and you can see the little light up here appearing it's showing you that you're actually sending an IR signal channel up and again of course I have then my direct TV so I can uh, talk whoops I hit the wrong button there I can hit I can toggle between the TV, the A receiver, and the direct TV, AV receiver, I mean to say, and I can toggle all that. So that's the smart remote. There's other little things involved um, in it. You can go in, and there's different settings here. The other thing that you can do is show the remote control on the notification panel and on your lock screen, and um, that's also pretty cool. So if I hit the home screen here, there it is on my notification panel uh, so I can quickly um, you know change the volume of the channels and control uh, the power for the TV uh, or whatever so that's 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 a very nice feature so now let's talk about watch on I've already downloaded the app from the Play Store so you go into that it's a similar it, this is now more of a refined app as far as the aesthetics goes but it's very similar. Now, the other thing, though, that does happen, um, I'm actually going to use a different zip code because I use a different for my DirecTV, um, is that it actually uh, gives you a chance to rent movies from Samsung or, 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 or buy them or whatever. So that this is a little different. So actually, I think Samsung would rather you use this one. So we're going to say DirecTV or actually, um, I don't know, we'll go with... Eastern uh, or Boston Digital and hit done and this goes right into it quickly um, and shows the shows um, it shows you can go to prime time and so it's a little different uh, in how it's set up so that's on air but if you go to TV shows um, it's going to show shows that you can purchase here so um, you can watch now and you've got the season and stuff so that's so that's a little different setup same thing with the movies you've got different movies that you can purchase and then there's web video as well shows YouTube different videos uh, that I guess that they select an AOL uh, but they do have and then you can set up it's just like the other one you can set up reminders and my favorites you can favoritize TV shows channels movies whatever cast and crew you can go right to the remote from here uh, and of course you're going to want to set it up so we're going to set up the remote very similar you choose your TV hit next and there's the power button you're going to hit yes um, and then it, uh, this is like a double check to make sure your menu works in my situation this didn't work the menu and it, it, it and it, so it was wrong. But you can this one you can actually search for the model number of your device, and then it'll be precise. That's actually the best way to do it. I like that. So you can go ahead and do that. And then if it because if I said no, um, it didn't give me another one for whatever reason. It, it just goes uh, it, search for your model there. So um, go ahead. Or actually, I can do it for whatever reason. It didn't allow me that the first time. So you can hit the menu a couple times. And I'll hit yes. Okay, so um, now that's next. I can go to Direct TV. So again, it's the same setup. Hit the power button. Is it yes or no? Yes. 
Now I'm going to select the info button to make sure that works. It will say no it didn't work. It gives me another code. I hit that. I can say no again but I'll say yes. And that's now done. And so now I have this remote set up. Um, and of course I, it's very similar. I, I hit go up. And I, and I can then select, whoops, go back there. I can select uh, the uh, STB, that's for the DirecTV. And uh, go back. And settings. It's a little different here. Um, I can add rooms. I forgot to show you that in the other one. I can add ro rooms. Um, I can create a parental passwords as well for anything that's R-rated or PG-13. Um, and I also can show remote on the notification panel and the lock screen if I want. So, um, you know, that's pretty cool. And I can add favorite channels right here. And go back in here. Um, edit favorite channels so I can go in here and do that as well and go back out go back to on air um, you have settings over here oh that's the same settings um, and so you add a room I mentioned that oh go to room one here um, you can change your zip code and you can add a device here by going into the room. So when you, you, you just tap in the room, which you're checked, which you're using right now, you go to add device, and now I can add um, an AV receiver like I did before. Less options in this one. Um, and that's pretty much watch on. You can also search for things, so, and, if I, and I can type uh, hit baits. I can do, you hit the remote here, watch on TV, and it changes the channel. Um, and that's, you know, pretty much it. The other thing is, I want to just go back to the smart remote. And go out of settings here. Um, channel guide. So you can also go in and look at all your channels as well. Um and select by channel and of course you can quickly go to your remote and as I was showing you uh, now both of them are on the notification panel and on the lock screen it'll be on the lock screen I think only one of them shows and that looks like it's the first one uh, smart remote um, so you can and normally you're not going to use both anyway so fool around with both and then choose one that you like and then go from there so you'll be able to do stuff from your lock screen as well so pretty cool um, I guess um, I know there's some other apps in the, in the Play Store that might even give you more stuff that can set up macros and things like that that are much more sophisticated but these are built in well at least the smart remotes built in and watch on is available for uh, the Galaxy S5 only I believe for now at least in the Play Store um, it's on the other devices but not downloadable from the Play Store unless they might have updated that since uh, when they first uploaded the app but um, so that's it that's smart remote and the watch on app um, so I um, hope this helps thanks for watching this is Rod Nazarian with Talk Android